Woohoo! What's up guys? Welcome to part 3 of our beginner tutorial how to start mountain biking. I'm excited, I got a bike, I know what gear I should wear. And now we're going to for a run or ride in the woods and basically just having fun and see if we have any beginner mistakes and how to avoid them. Let's go! Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Okay, there's our first mistake. Oh, 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 we went too hard. Going too hard, especially at the beginning, it's a major mistake most beginners make at most races. Oh. So, what you want to do is start slowly, build some base stamina, and and then you can go farther and faster. But trust me, you don't want to go all out, especially if you're further away. Oh, Jesus. So what's our second mistake? Having a too high of a gear. Okay. Nope. That too big of a gear just puts more strain on your knees and it's not really comfortable or efficient. So especially as a beginner, especially if you're going uphill, shift down, make yourself more comfortable. Yes, you have to spin or kick way more, but it's easier and less stressful for your knees. And not a typical mistake, standing up. Whew. If you stand up when it's really steep going uphill, your back tire slips all the time. There's no point of doing that. Sit down, it is harder, and if you can't manage, you gotta push. But setting up when it's steep won't give you any grip on your rear tire, and you'll always slip. So, not a typical beginner mistake is not to look or be overconfident. So, we come up from here and see okay, there it goes down. There's another path. We wanna go down there. Uh, so, oh my god, it's steeper than it looks. Well, if we take the different route around here, ah, it's way tamer. So as a beginner, this is quite steep and we have to really, really be sure about that. Well, this one, yeah, we go into a corner, but it's more mellow, so not that steep. So what are we gonna do? Well, we step off the bike as we do now, look at the trail, maybe there's a rock, maybe, I don't know, there's a lock. Uh, we're actually gonna write both of these and see which one's better for beginners. Well, I guess it's clear. Now our last beginner mistake is using the rear brake without the front one. No, you don't have to ride an endo or, well, get on your, only on your front wheel. But using your front brake is essential because it basically has way more braking power than your rear wheel and way more grip. Uh, in the car it's usually 60 to 80 percent on the front. More likely 80 and on the mountain bike it's quite the same. You brake 80 percent on the front or around 80 percent. So definitely practice braking with your front brake and not too much with your rear brake. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching, subscribing, and till next time, let's ride.